Hi my loves, how are you all? I hope you're okay, I hope you're staying hydrated because it is so hot in England, like I have never experienced this sort of heat ever. So make sure you are staying hydrated and make sure you are topping up on your SPF as well. So today's video I thought it'd be fun to do a Korean and Japanese makeup skincare haul. I haven't done one in such a long time. So for the past couple of months I've been doing like little bits of shopping here and there just collecting and trying out Korean and Japanese makeup products and skincare products and I do have some products in this video that I haven't tried yet because I'm saving it for my travels. I did buy a lot of like mini travel size Korean and Japanese skincare product and I am a massive fan of just Asian beauty and skincare not because I'm Asian but because I feel like their products are just so innovative so different and I feel like their quality of beauty products is just a little bit better compared to some Western brands and I mean that in the most nicest way possible for instance Japanese and Korean sunscreen it is personally my favorite not all Korean and Japanese sunscreen brands are the best but if i was to recommend any spf products to you guys it would be korean and japanese but i'm going to talk to you guys in depth about spf later on in the video also guys if you hear a fan in the background i am so sorry again i'm sorry but your girl she needs to stay cool she needs to stay hydrated whilst filming this video and this week i'm extremely busy so today is actually the only day where i can film this youtube video so make sure you hit that subscribe button because your girls working in this heat is not easy <laughs> before i start today's haul i just want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by sky cinema sky cinema i have been collaborating with them throughout the whole entire year which is such a huge honor because i love sky cinema i'm a part of the sky cinema club which means that i have the honor to actually review their movies and share with you guys what my favorite movies are on sky cinema so this month i watched the most anticipated movie which is spider-man no way home i mean i feel like every person on this planet has seen spider-man no way home if you haven't make sure to check it out on sky cinema i'll leave a link down below in the description box that way you guys can check out on how to be a sky member and the best place to watch spider-man no way home is sky cinema because they have so many movies and also this is very exciting they now have launched paramount plus sky cinema and paramount plus combined together it is just oh my god guys i cannot tell you how many movies there are available and i actually got a list of some of the movies that i think you guys might be interested in watching on paramount plus they have clifford the big red dog so if you've got any kids definitely check that movie out they have transformers the last night they have mission impossible they have greece love 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 grease oh one of my favorite iconic old-time movies they have pulp fiction school of rock love jack black they also have flash dance as well they also have jack reacher meet the Fockers, no country for old men jerry and marge go large soon they will have jackass forever who remembers jackass so yes, this month I watched Spider-Man No Way Home and it's actually probably my fifth time watching this movie. I love Tom Holland and I love Zendaya. I love them as a power couple as well. I think they're so adorable together. It's such a great movie to see Peter Parker grow because I feel like in this movie you really see him grow as a boy into a man because he's making the right choices if you guys want to watch spider-man no way home and if you want to check out paramount plus make sure to go down in my description box to check out sky cinema and thank you again sky cinema for sponsoring today's video it is just crazy that i'm working with sky because my channel's a beauty channel so to be able to work with such a unique company it really means a lot to me let's begin with the haul so i went to the shop i don't know how to say it but i'm just gonna put it right here and I'm gonna put the address to this shop as well in the description box. It is in London, it's in Leicester Square. It's literally, when you come out of Leicester Square Station, you'll see a street of like four or five shops where they sell Korean and Japanese skincare. Also, I really wanna try Chinese skincare and makeup, but I feel like it's so hard to get in the UK. If you know where to get Chinese skincare and makeup, please, Send me links in the comment section because I really want to test it out. Like, I'm Chinese myself and I feel so bad for not being able to try Chinese beauty products. So, please help a girl out. 
So I have quite a few products. I'm going to start with SPF because I feel like it is very necessary to talk about SPF as it's so hot right now in the UK and also it's a time of year where everyone is traveling. This is actually my second bottle and it's lasted me for so long as well. So this is the Be Your UV and this is not the Be Your, the one that you get in Super Drugs and Booze. This is a Japanese Be Your SPF. Be Your is different in Asia. This is a watery type of texture SPF. So as you can see, that's how it looks. I'm just going to blend it out on my hand and there are zero white cast as well. And it is so, so, so lightweight on the hand and on the face and everywhere on the body. Oh my God. I really wish they did a body lotion version of this because it is so lightweight and watery. It's also really hydrating and non-greasy as well. I'm actually wearing this today and it's just one of my favorite SBS. It is a little bit expensive, which is such a shame, but it is worth everything penny though. Another product that I really love, this is another Japanese SPF. This is a actually makeup brand. It's called Can Make and this is called Mermaid Skin Gel UV SPF 50. A little bit similar to the Beor. You can use this on the body as well. My only problem with this product is that it's very tiny so you don't get a lot but it is a very good quality SPF. Again it's kind of similar to the Beor one where it's quite lightweight, that's how it looks. And once I blend it out, also no white cast as well. Oh, it feels so nice. I just feel like Asian SPF is so different. Now, another SPF that I do have, it's a little bit of a hit and miss, and it's a bit annoying because I do really like the concept of this product, but it does leave a white cast, which is so annoying. So this is from a brand called VT Cosmetics. This is a BB cushion SPF. Oh my God. Look at that guys. Isn't that amazing? So what you do is you go ahead and pick up the SPF. It's like a balm. That's the only way I can best describe this BT Cosmetics SPF. And then when you go ahead and tap it into your skin, it does leave a bit of a dewy finish and it leaves a white cast. Not a crazy white cast, but you can kind of see it and you do need to spend time blending it out as well. It's more noticeable on my face. I don't want to put it on my face because I just did my makeup and it does leave a dewy finish as well. So if you're pale and you have dry skin, I feel like this product is made for you. Hopefully in the future, VT Cosmetics or another brand can create something like this, but zero white cast like this would have been perfect if there was no white cast but because there is a little bit it's a bit of a hmm but yeah this is probably the cheapest SPF out of the other two SPFs that I showed you guys if there's any products I'd want you guys to try from a Japanese and Korean skincare brand it would be sheet mask honestly their sheet mask out of this world and I actually tried this Japanese sheet mask. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Ko's Cosmiport, but yeah, this is an anti-aging collagen sheet mask. The formula of the serum is like a gel, so it's really, really nice and slippery. It's not like a it's not like a watery serum, so there is a little bit of texture and thickness, which I personally really like. I know some people prefer thinner. Uh, consistency with their skincare but when it comes to sheet mask personally I like it when the sheet mask serum consistency is a little bit thicker because I feel like my skin is able to absorb the moisture better I love this sheet mask I'm actually putting all my sheet mask in a fridge which I highly recommend don't put it in the freezer put it in the fridge <laughs> And when you go ahead and put this on in the evening or in the morning, you're just going to feel so hydrated. And also, if you put your skincare in a the fridge, they will last longer as well. So if you've got some skincare products, there's a massive pot of face cream and you're like, oh my God, I know I won't be able to finish by the end of the year. Put it in the fridge and it should last you a little bit longer as well. So I don't know what this brand is actually called. I mean, there's a company's name up there, but I don't know if this is what it's called, but love the sheet mask. 
another brand that I really, really can't wait to try. I haven't tried this yet. I'm actually saving this for when I go on holiday because I'm going to Mexico for my birthday. And I just know my skin's going to be so dry when I'm out there because it's going to be so hot. So this is the Little Twin Stars Brightening Facial Mask. Such a cute sheet mask. Oh my God. Again, this is from Japan. And this is a brightening sheet mask as well. So this is from Nature Republic. Now, Nature Republic is an actual store in Leicester Square, Chinatown. So you won't be able to miss it. It literally stands up because it's such a beautiful store. And yeah, I got myself some foot mask as well because my feet are so dry this summer. I also got another sheet mask as well. This is a milky lotion mask. So the consistency is gonna be a little bit more watery. This is a Japanese brand, I believe. Yes, yeah, made in Japan. And the texture of the sheet mask of this one is Japanese cotton. I asked the lady in the shop, I was like, what sheet mask do you recommend? And then she said this one and this one as well she said these two are probably the best sheet masks for like anti-aging and replenishment as well i only picked up one makeup product when i did my korean and japanese shopping trip and this is from a brand called romand i think that's how you say it it could be wrong this is a lovely lip tint so this is a lip mousse when you first apply it and then once it dries down it turns into a lip stain so say you put this on in the morning and then throughout the day you know you're eating you're drinking there are there is transfer with this product but then it does stain your lips so when you are eating and drinking even though the makeup is coming off you can't tell because it's leaving a stain on your lip i am obsessed with this color this summer well actually i've been obsessed with this color since january it's like a fuchsia pink i don't know i've been obsessed with fuchsia pink lips and the reason why is because i feel like it makes me look younger <laughs> and i am obsessed with this formula as well it's so lightweight it's like hey it's like a mousse it's the only way i can really describe it and it's really soft as well when you apply it onto the lips and it kind of blurs the lips out as well because the formula is like a moussey formula but yeah obsessed with this formula love this i put this in my bag actually when i'm going out and about because it's my favorite color and also it's my favorite formula okay so you've probably seen this go viral on the internet the cosrx snail cream and snail essence this is so good oh my god guys i can't explain it i've been trying this out for the past two weeks and the way this hydrates my skin wow okay so this is the essence so it's kind of like a serum but it's not a serum so you apply this on after you cleanse your skin if you're not using toner and what this does is that it's an extra layer of hydration i'm a massive fan of cosrx essences i've tried the hyaluronic acid one which i'm literally finished and i got this one as well which i'm obsessed with i also have the aha essence as well definitely the hyaluronic acid and this is my favorite the aha is a bit strong for me so i like to use that on days where i'm like breaking out but if you're suffering from really dry dehydrated skin and you need something that's super lightweight this is honestly one of my favorite products when it comes to hydrating the skin without making me feel greasy especially in this heat as well and what makes this cream so special is oh i don't know if you guys saw that it's very slimy so let me just do you guys see that it's so funny oh my god it's very slimy when you put your finger in it but when you massage it into your skin it's not sticky i promise you guys it does not feel sticky at all it just makes your skin feel really soft and velvety so once you apply it onto your skin and you start massaging it in it just immediately feels hydrating and immediately your skin feels soft and yes this has 92 percent snail secretion and it sounds so gross but it's also really good <laughs> it's a unique skincare product i think the sound of it is not for everyone but i do think this moisturizer is really good for people who are suffering from dry dehydrated skin let's talk about hair care products so many people was asking me what this was so this is a style stick which is so cool and what this does is that it just helps tame down any flyaways that you have if you want to do you know that model bella hadid um slick back pony and you have loads of flyaways this really helps 
slick everything down. It is a little bit greasy, but I think it has to be greasy in order to slick down the baby hair. So make sure to use the right amount and not go overboard because your hair will end up looking shiny and greasy. This is from a brand called Matomage. I think that's how you say it. I'm going to try my best to link every single product down in the description box for you guys. But yeah, I am obsessed with this product. Another product that I have been so obsessed with and I'm so happy with this purchase because this is a very expensive hair oil. It's like £30. This is the And Honey Hair Oil. It is so thick and moisturizing and hydrating. I asked the lady in the shop, I was like, which hair oil is the best? And she said this one because if you dye your hair, bleach your hair, or you chemically straighten or perm your hair, you lose a lot of hydration in your hair. And she said this will help restore the moisture in your hair. And boy, she was not wrong. I've been using it ever since I bought this product. The only thing I would say is that I don't like the applicator. A little goes a long way. And when you push this down because it's a pump a lot comes out so you've got to be really careful with how much you pump out you can use this after you wash your hair so if your hair's like damp you can go ahead and apply it into your hair and then blow dry or air dry it and your hair will just feel so soft you can use it after you styled your hair as well i like to put a little bit of oil in my hair before i go to bed and then go ahead and put it in a very loose bun wearing a silk scrunchy and in the morning my hair does not feel tangled which is great definitely took me by surprise and i have tried so many hair oils like so many and i've spent so much money on hair products and out of every single product this has blew my mind the most okay and the rest of the products i have in this bag is all minis so i haven't tried these products out but i thought i'd share them with you guys anyway so here are the minis this is from a brand called is a free this is the hyaluronic acid essence. If you haven't tried a hyaluronic acid, you need to incorporate it into your skincare routine. It's amazing for dry skin, mature skin, uh, acne prone skin, oily skin. If your skin is sensitive, I do recommend install applying hyaluronic acid into your skin because hyaluronic acid helps retain moisture and your skin needs moisture in order for it to be healthy. So when I saw this, I was like, I need to grab this. And I love the size as well. And this is a green tea fresh toner. To be very honest, I don't know what this does, but I wanted to get this anyway in case there is a day in my holiday travels where I need to lightly exfoliate and I feel like this will help. And also green tea is enriched with antioxidants as well, which is really good for the skin. I also got a mini cleansing balm as well to melt away my makeup. This is from a brand called High Mesh. I think this is Korean, I believe. Oh, I'm actually not sure, it doesn't really say. Oh yes, yes, this is Korean. They had a big pot of this and I was like so tempted to buy it, but then when I saw the mini, I was like, you're coming help me. <laughs> I never tried this before, but I have a feeling it's going to work because I feel like every single Korean and Japanese product I have tried, it's never really disappointed me. I also got more minis from a brand called are you Nick? I don't know how you say it. I got a light serum and I also got a tea tree serum as well in case I get any like mosquito bites on my face when I go to Mexico because I heard in Mexico the mosquitoes are crazy out there and tea tree is one of the best uh, ingredients to help get rid of any mosquito bites and it also acts as a repellent as well that's what my friends told me so i'm gonna take their advice because that's what they did and it worked for them so i think this would be really cool to use in the morning and evening when i'm out in mexico and i also got a mini snail cream now this is not from cuzorex this is from a brand called myzon i never thought in a million years i would say this but i do like snail cream oh my god it's so gross to say it out loud but I don't know, I feel like snail cream is one of those things where you've got to try it before you judge it. So that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please, if you have any recommendations for Chinese, Japanese or Korean skincare, makeup, hair care, body care, whatever it is, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, thank you again to Sky Cinema for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys stay hydrated. It is so hot. Oh my God, my back is literally wet because <laughs> it's so hot. See you guys in my next video. Bye.